Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Irma. Thank you for being here. We're still waiting for the rest of the class. Todavía estamos esperando a los demás para ver si se unen. In the meantime, do you have any question about um, this kind of uh, the platform? Any exercise? Any el, problem with el, the platform? Mm -hmm. este, el que decía ayer, el que le mencionaba ayer, de, de escuchar el audio y responder sobre el carnaval. Eh, yo respondo y, y siempre me salen en rojo. No sé, es que es alguna palabrita que me equivoco. Ah, okay, this one, right? The listening exercise. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. Yes, sí. Page 52, exercise 5, listening. Carnival time. Part A. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow! Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52, Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow! Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Okay, very good. And what are the answers that you wrote in this, for example, in number one, what is carnival? Bueno, yo entendí que ahí tenemos que poner el significado, ¿verdad? Pero quizás en alguna letra que me equivoqué, no me da. Okay, and what did you write in the first one, en la primera que escribió? What is carnival? Eh, yo le, le escribí esa, es una esa party uh -huh. en Brasil eh, algo así le, le había puesto ok, let's see here eh, these are the answer it is a party o solo tiene que poner party or carnival is a party vamos a ver si nos acepta solo con party party what is carnival party Ah, no, y entonces yo le respondía completa. Eh. Ajá, carnaval, it is a party in Brazil, right? Ajá, ah, it's difficult, yes. Ah, Vamos sí, como, es que como yo, yo había escuchado, leído ahí que decía, escriba la palabra, eh, la respuesta completamente. En... Exactly. Ajá. In this case, si usted pone, ¿cuánto dura? Cuatro días, right? Ajá. Pero aquí tiene que ser con letras, no con números. Sí. Four days. Eh, um, podemos poner aquí cuándo es. 
it's on late February or early March, or it is on late February or early March, or on late February or early March. So, vamos a poner, when is it? It's on late February con mayúscula, February, mm. or early, y con March mayúscula. Mm. Ahí está el error. Ajá, punto. Vamos a ver. Ah, y aquí le vamos a poner el punto también. Y aquí también para le vamos a poner el punto. Y what is samba? The samba is a dance. Vamos a poner aquí it's a dance, ¿verdad? It's a dance. Punto. Vamos a ver y enviamos. Y ahí está. Ok. Thank you. Okay, very good. So, in this, así lo tienen que hacer. What is carnival? It's a party. O solo pueden poner party y pongan un punto, ¿verdad? No se les va a olvidar el punto. How long does it last? Four days. Y ponen el punto, ¿verdad? When is it? On late February or early March. Los meses con mayúscula, ¿verdad? Y ponen el punto. What is samba? It's a dance y ponen el punto. Y ahí sí se lo va a aceptar. Este es el listening, ¿verdad? Del, de la sección 3. Así que así sí se lo va a aceptar. Eh, si tienen algún problema también con alguna otra pregunta o alguna otra sección, también me dicen. Because this section, uh, we're going to finish this section this week, okay? So no problem. Today we are going to have a review about yesterday's class. Vamos a revisar lo que repasamos la semana pasada. Okay, thank you for being here, Irma, Tania, Kimberly. Uh, the rest, I don't know if they know, they knew that we had classes today, but actually we do, right? Teníamos clases. So, and also we have an exercise about um, clauses, right? So what we are going to do is just to review the clauses here. Vamos a repasar las clauses aquí. Con este video que está en la plataforma, with this video, which is in the platform, okay? Let's watch it right now. Hello. Before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is. So pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. Okay, so it's talking about relative pr pronouns, or relative clauses, sorry, sorry, about time. Y por eso vamos a ocupar when, ¿verdad? Porque nos va a decir cuándo es que pasan las cosas. So, uh, let's see here if we have some more information here. Okay, no. So, yesterday we were studying about clauses. Ayer estábamos estudiando las clauses y acerca de los carnival celebrations, okay? okay? Thank you for being here, Marvin and Elida. Welcome and happy Valentine's Day, right? Actually, yesterday we were talking about holidays. So today is a holiday. We don't have vacation, but it's a holiday. And uh, these are the holidays that we were talking about. For example, St. Patrick's Day, Day of the Dead, Chinese New Year, Thanksgiving, right? And we were seeing more vocabulary about that. Also, we talked about uh, Thanksgiving, right? Thanksgiving Day, Children's Day, uh, Father's Day, Mother's Day, all of that, right? And this is more information. This is like a reading, right? So let's review about this. Like, what do you know about Halloween? What happened? What do we do in Halloween? ¿Qué hacemos en Halloween? Bueno, nosotros no, pero la gente que lo celebra, what do they do in Halloween? What do you remember about yesterday? ¿Quién se recuerda qué hacemos en Halloween? Do we wear costumes? 
Yes, right. Usamos disfraces. How do you say disfraz? Custom, right? Custom. So we wear custom. Children eat candies. And there are a lot of parties. Hay bastantes fiestas, right? In Halloween. So we Halloween custom. Haunted houses. Casas embrujadas. Haunted houses. Tick or treating. Trick or treat is what they say, right? Lo que dicen los niños al ir a buscar dulces. Trick or treat. And they watch horror movies or in the movie theater, we can watch horror movies. Christmas. What do you know about Christmas? What do we do in Christmas? ¿Qué hacemos en la Navidad? What do we do there in that celebration? A, a chicken. We ate chicken, right? Pan con pollo, right? Tamales. What else? We uh, also, we we see a lot of fireworks. Fireworks, los juegos, los, no, no son juegos, sino que los cohetes, right? Fireworks. Yeah. What else? What else do we do in Christmas? Yes, party dance. Yes, we dance. We have parties, right? And we dance with people, right? With our families. Perfect. Drink alcohol. Drink alcohol, <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. So some Christmas activities are Christmas carols, Christmas trees, right? Many people decorate their houses with Christmas trees. We exchange presents, nos damos uh, regalos, presents, and we eat the Christmas food, right? Chicken, right, or turkey. Thanksgiving, what do you know about Thanksgiving? What is that? We talked about that yesterday. De eso hablamos ayer. ¿Qué, qué, qué se acuerdan so de eso? Is a dinner. It is a dinner. Yes, to it is a make, dinner. To uh -huh. say thankful for everything. Exactly. Be thankful about everything, about our family, our job, a lot of things, right? Some things that we do in Thanksgiving is like Thanksgiving food, like a dinner. We uh, visit our family also, and uh, people watch American football, right? That's what Americans or uh, North American people do from the United States. New Year's. What do you know about New Year's? What What do we do? What kind of activities do you do in the Año Nuevo? What do you do? Nothing. You just go to sleep uh, and that's it. <laughs> a dinner, you go with the family. You spend your time with your family. You see fireworks too as Christmas. So dancing, there is a lot of parties um, here. And I don't know, sometimes uh, you can go, you can travel uh, for that days too, but also the time and it's to spend with the family. Exactly, you spend with your family, with your friends, see fireworks, also a lot of parties. And many people like to go to the beach right next day. Al siguiente día le gusta ir a la playa. Have you, have you done that before? ¿Han hecho eso antes? Have you gone to the beach on January yes, 1st? I have done this. Okay, very good. I've never, yes. I've never, I've never done it. Yo nunca lo he hecho, but, but um, it's fun, I cannot right? recommend you that. <laughs> Not right. the traffic, it is a, a madness when you are come back to your house. <laughs> yes, exactly. My family yes, and me go uh -huh. to the river. To the river, which one? In New Year. Okay, ¿cómo se llama el río? What is the name of the of the river? Yes, the in la frontera de las Chinamas, Huachapán. Oh, really? And is it beautiful? Yes. Yes, okay, frontera de las Chinamas. And there is a lot of people there. Hay bastante gente llega ahí o it's Mucha, mucha. A lot of people. Okay. Yeah, because that's that's a problem, but that's what I that I don't like because you have to go to the beach and a lot of people, right? You go to the river, a lot of people, and as Elida mentioned, a lot of traffic, right? To go back to your house. But it's fun, it's fun, it's it's fun to to go and do these kind of activities. Also, as you already said, we have parties, countdown, right? Contamos but yes, nueve, ocho. Well, some people do it. They eat grapes also, comen uvas, saca la maleta, a lot of activities, traditions. 
and the New Year's kiss in the United States, it's a tradition to kiss someone the first minute of the New Year, right? So that is a tradition there. Uh, here, not that much. So um, here we have our favorite celebrations, right? Let's see here. First, let me see here. Yes, we are going to play this audio here. It says, listen to these comments about special days of the year. Match them on the correct pictures. So these are the pictures and these are the comments. We're going to read it. We are going to listen to it. And let's see which one is, uh, are we going to match it, right? Vamos a ver cuál es cuál. Let's see here. I will play it in a different tab. One moment, please. Unit eight. Okay, can you listen to it? Eight. Tassala. Page 51. Exercise three. Perspectives. Favorite celebrations. Part A. Listen to these comments about special days of the year. Match them to the correct pictures. My favorite celebration is Mother's Day. It's a day when my husband and my kids make pancakes for me, just like I used to make for my mom. And I get to have breakfast in bed. February 14th is the day when people give cards and presents to the ones they love. I'm really looking forward to Valentine's Day. I already have a gift for my boyfriend. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. We usually have a big party. We stay up all night and then go out for breakfast in the morning. Okay, perfect. So what is uh, number one, letter A, B, or C? Letter B. B, right. Okay. So this was <laughs> will be Mother's Day. Then number two, which one is it? A, B, or C? Z. C, okay. That will be February 14th, right? Today, Valentine's Day. And number three, New Year's Eve. Which one is it? It's A, right? Let's see here. A. Yes, a correct. Is an alpha. Yeah, A is in Alpha, B is in Bravo. Okay, B exactly. B in Charlie. B is in Charlie. B B in Delta. <laughs> You're traumatized, right? You're traumatized with your job. Very good. So, uh, correct. That is a B, C, and A. Correct. That's correct. And yesterday we were talking about sentences and clauses, right? Difference between a clause. A clause has a subject and a verb. It can convey sometimes uh, an idea, sometimes not. Sometimes uh, needs to be completed by something else, by, by another clause. And a sentence is sometimes is made by different clauses, by two or three clauses, right? It is a compound sentence. For example, my friend who has autism is brilliant at crosswords. Who has autism is a clause. And we have the sentence, right? From my friend until crosswords. We have John Gate went when he stopped running. So when he stopped running is a clause. It's a clause of time, right? The tiempo, porque nos dice cuando, when. She cannot remember what happened. What happened is another clause, but we have another sentence. So you remember that we have dependent clauses and independent clauses, right? And this was the uh, the homework, right? We have to rewrite these sentences with relative clauses of time. Eso es lo que estamos viendo, relative clauses of time. Begin with Thanksgiving is a time when. Did you do this exercise? Hicieron este ejercicio de tarea? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Who wants to read number one? ¿Quién quiere leer la uno? Mm -hmm. yo, yo hice la mía así. Okay. 
mother day is yeah. is when Melissa invites her mother over for dinner. Very good. Mother's Day is when Melissa invites her mother for dinner. Very good. Perfect, dear man. Very good. Perfect. Let's see another another example or another sentence that you have written. Alguien más que ya escrito alguna otra oración with relative clauses of time. Me, teacher. Okay, Marvin, go ahead. Thanksgiving is a time when Frank and Karen eat a turkey. Exactly. Thanksgiving is a time when Frank and Karen eat turkey. Perfect. Somebody else? Alguien más? Somebody else? Okay, so, and we have another one, the one that Marvin uh, did, right? So for the ones who didn't participate, uh, we are going to ask you something. Para los que no participaron, me van a decir cuál es la clause, verdad, de tiempo. Y Marvin dijo Thanksgiving is the time when... Okay, Mother's Day is when Melissa, Mother Time, uh, we're going to add something here. Mother's Day is the time when, right? Okay, let's see, Tanya. In this sentence, Mother's Day is the time when Melissa invites her mother for dinner. What is the class, the relative class of time? ¿Cuál es la relative class of time, Tanya? Okay, Kimberly, no problem. They uh -huh. start what? Uh -huh. Mother's Day is the time when Melissa invites her mother for dinner. What is the relative clause of time? ¿Cuál es la cláusula de tiempo? When. When, uh -huh. and what else? Um, ¿Qué más después de when? Um, when? When Melissa invites uh -huh. her mother for dinner. Exactly. Very good. When Melissa invites her mother for dinner. So that's a clause. Ahí está la cláusula dependiente, ¿verdad? Ahí nos está diciendo cuando. Mother's Day is the time when Melissa invites her mother for dinner. And Thanksgiving. Eh, perdón, este está independiente, pero es a, a, this is the, the time, right? Thanksgiving is the time when Frank and Karen eat turkey. What is the clause, the time clause over there? Y ahí cuál es? En la segunda. Thanksgiving is the time when Frank and Karen eat turkey. So this is the clause, right? The clause, the time clause. La clausula de tiempo porque nos dicen cuando es verdad when frank and karen eat turkey perfect we have more exercises tenemos más ejercicios para para completar right for example mother's day is a day when so these are relative clauses of time esas son cláusulas relativas de tiempo that this is grammar right i know the grammar is kind of complicated sometimes but um it's fun sometimes sometimes if we can learn uh, a lot from it. So Mother's Day is a day when my kids make a pancakes for me. That is um, the relative clause of time. February 14th is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. That is the relative clause of time. And New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. That is the relative clause of time. Now we are going to match a Le, column A with column B, right? Let's see. Help me, please, because sometimes I don't know, right? Mother's Day is a day when it will be A, B, C, D, E, or F. Mm -hmm. 
B. Read. B as in Bravo. B as in Bravo. Okay. A Mother's Day is the day when people celebrate their mothers. Perfect. Number two, New Year's Eve is a night when? F, when people express their love to someone. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Do we and have any F other? F as in F. Frank. F as in Frank. People have parties. Yeah, sorry. People have parties with family and friends. Exactly. Three, April Fool's Day is a day when? Letter A, people sometimes play trick and... Okay, people sometimes play tricks on friends. Exactly. Cuando uh, tricks, bromas, right? So April Fool's. Four, Valentine's Day is a day when? Letter E. E, people express their love to someone. Exactly, Marvin. Perfect. Five, Labor Day. Labor Day is el día del trabajo, right? Labor Day is a day when? D. B as in boy? B, D. D as in duck? Okay, people in many countries honor workers, exactly. And the last one, summer is a time when? C. C, many people like to go to the beach, exactly. So that's actually, that is a relative clause. We already know what are clauses, sentences, and uh, clauses uh, made part of a sentence, right? To convey a whole idea. And um, in this case, the part that it starts with when, that is a relative clause of time. Why? Because it's talking about the time when that happens, right? When my kids make pancakes, when people give cards, etc. Very good, perfect. This will be the answers, right? Mother's Day is a day when B, F, A, E, D, and C. Perfect. Uh, this is a very similar to the things that we did already. Esto es muy similar a lo que ya hicimos. So we are not going to do it, right? Because it will be kind of repetitive. Okay. And this one is kind of similar, but if you want to, you can write about your favorite holiday and try to use relative clauses of time. For example, my favorite holiday is Halloween. Halloween is the day when everybody can wear costumes and decorations are spooky. So you can write about your holiday tomorrow if you want to. We are going to check that homework. And you can tell me about your favorite holiday. For example, today, right? If it is some Valentine's Day, you can tell me what you did today, right? And and what happens in some Valentine's Days for, for you. That's what you can tell me. Now we're going to uh, check a listening here. It says, listen to Vanessa talk about her trip to Carnival. I think that this is very similar to the exercise that is in the platform. Creo que se parece al que está en la plataforma que acabamos de hacer en la, al principio de la clase. Pero eh, vamos a, a escucharlo, ¿ok? And we are going to answer these questions. Why did she have to book her hotel six months early? What happened when Vanessa got lost? What was her favorite thing about Carnival? Why? Ok, let's check it right now. Unit 8. Okay, I'm checking it. Part A. Listen to Vanessa talk about her trip to Carnival in Brazil. Write three facts about Carnival that she mentions. Isn't this music great? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Brazil for Carnival last year. Carnival is a big party or celebration in late February or early March. 
It lasts for four days. People celebrate Carnival all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio de Janeiro. That's where I went. I had to book my hotel six months early because hotels fill up really quickly. But it was amazing. There were colorful decorations all over the city, and everyone was very friendly. I got lost and didn't even have to ask for directions. People came up to me and offered to help. My favorite part was the big parade. The costumes and the dancing were amazing. People work on the costumes and practice the samba dances for months as part of a competition. There were people dancing everywhere. I'd really recommend you try to go. Page 9, Exercise 4, Part B. Listen again. For the false statements, write the correct information. Hi there. I'm Sophia. You must be my new neighbor. Okay, I think that's that's it for Carnival, uh, for that listening. Uh, were you able to answer the questions? ¿Pudieron contestar las preguntas? Or do you want to listen to it again? Do you want to listen to it again? Uh, yes, teacher, please. Okay, perfect. I will play it again. Remember, why did she have to book her hotel six months early? What happened when Vanessa got lost? What was her favorite thing about Carnival? Why? Let's listen again. Page 52. Exercise 5. Listening. Time for Carnival. Part A. Listen to Vanessa talk about her trip to Carnival in Brazil. Write three facts about Carnival that she mentions. Isn't this music great? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Brazil for Carnival last year. Carnival is a big party or celebration in late February or early March. It lasts for four days. People celebrate Carnival all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio de Janeiro. That's where I went. I had to book my hotel six months early because hotels fill up really quickly. But it was amazing. There were colorful decorations all over the city, and everyone was very friendly. I got lost and didn't even have to ask for directions. People came up to me and offered to help. My favorite part was the big parade. The costumes and the dancing were amazing. People work on the costumes and practice the samba dances for months as part of a competition. There were people dancing everywhere. I'd really recommend you try to go. Okay, perfect. Now you got the answers, right? Yeah, correct. Okay. Why did she have to book her hotel six months early? So, because um, um, it's too full when she tried to make a reservation or something and it's, everything is sold out because all the world wants to go to the carnival. Exactly. Everything was sold out, right? Because the hotels were full of people. So, you need to book her hotel six months early. Let's see, number one, what happened when Vanessa got lost? What happened? She didn't have to answer for information because people came, came with her and uh, they gave them the help to her. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and she lost and people were very friendly, right? So she didn't have to request any information. Everybody was trying to help her. Everybody was friendly. The last one, what was her favorite thing about Carnival? So was... costumes, people dancing, and a lot of people there. Exactly, the parade, right? The parade, because everybody was dancing in the parade, and also the costumes, right? Very good. Perfect. Perfect. So that was the listening. And this was just an exercise for you to check your listening. Very good. Let's see what else here.
Okay, yeah, uh, tomorrow we are going to do this, actually. And we are going to, uh, with this information, the one that we are going to check here, con la información que van a escribir acá, about your favorite, favorite holiday, we are going to have this exercise tomorrow. So tomorrow we are going to speak a little bit more. We are going to talk about our favorite holiday since we, you are going to investigate. And tomorrow in class, you are going to um, have a conversation like, uh, what do you like about it, right? For example, I really like Independence Day. What do you like about it? It's a day when we watch parades and fireworks. So uh, you can create a conversation or you can bring the information about your favorite holiday and we can create a conversation here. So you will be able to, to practice a little bit more this, um, well, these exercises, right? This, this vocabulary. For example, uh, we have here a conversation. Uh, it is not about a holiday, but it's about a celebration. It's a traditional wedding, but from India. So we are going to check it and we are going to, to listen to it again. And at the end of this class, we are going to review relative clauses for the last time, okay? So that's what we are going to do right now. Just let me open here. And of course, we are going to practice the conversation, right? Vamos a practicar también para que todos estemos ahí. Page 53. Okay, let's listen, please. B. Exercise 8. Conversation. A traditional wedding. Part A. Listen and practice. Is this a picture from your wedding, Anusha? Yes. We have the ceremony in India. And was this your wedding dress? Yes. It's a sari, actually. In India, when women get married... They usually wear a brightly colored sari, not a white dress. It's beautiful. So what are weddings like in India? Well, in some traditions, after the groom arrives, the bride and groom exchange garlands of flowers. We did that, but we didn't do some other traditional things. Oh, like what? Well, before the wedding, the bride's female relatives usually have a party to celebrate, but I'm an only child. And I don't have any female cousins, so we skipped that. That makes sense. You know, I have heard about this one tradition. When the groom takes off his shoes, the bride's sisters steal them. I guess you didn't do that either? Oh, no. We did that part. My mom stole them. Okay, we're going to listen to it again. And then I will ask you about questions, vocabulary and pronunciation, ¿ok? Vamos a escucharlo una vez más y después vamos a practicar. Si tienen preguntas, me dicen. Page 53. Exercise 8. Conversation. A traditional wedding. Part A. Listen and practice. Is this a picture from your wedding, Anusha? Yes. We have the ceremony in India. And was this your wedding dress? Yes. It's a sari, actually. In India, when women get married, they usually wear a brightly colored sari, not a white dress. It's beautiful. So what are weddings like in India? Well, in some traditions, after the groom arrives, the bride and groom exchange garlands of flowers. We did that, but we didn't do some other traditional things. Oh, like what? Well, before the wedding, the bride's female relatives usually have a party to celebrate. But I'm an only child, and I don't have any female cousins, so we skipped that. That makes sense. You know, I have heard about this one tradition. When the groom takes off his shoes, the bride's sisters steal them. I guess you didn't do that either? Oh, no. We did that part. My mom stole them. Okay, perfect. So do you have any question about any new word? or any new pronunciation that you may find there? Questions about the conversation? No, no. No questions. Okay, I have a question. What is uh, in Anusha, it's saying, well, 
in that part is saying, well, in some traditions, after the groom arrives, the bride and groom exchange garlands of flowers. What is a garland? Guirnaldas. Exactly, guirnaldas. So, yes, they exchange uh, garlands of flowers, right? So they did that, but they didn't do some other tra traditional things, right? Like uh, the bride's female relative usually have a party to celebrate, uh, but she was the only child and she doesn't have any female cousins, so they skipped that. Skipped. What is the meaning of skip? Exactly. Perfect. Perfect, Elida. Very good. So they skipped that. Se saltaron esa parte. Y eso no lo hicieron, ¿verdad? Perfect. And <laughs> La última parte de la risa. <laughs> yes, that they, they steal their shoes, right? That is a tradition yeah. there. Very good. Mm -hmm. So we are going to practice this conversation. One person will be Julia and another person will be Anusha. Just to practice what we are going to do tomorrow. Solo para practicar lo que vamos a hacer mañana. So I need two volunteers. Dos voluntarios please, to practice the conversation. Irma, okay, who is going to help Irma? Again, can you there, Irma? We have Tanya, we have Marvin, we have Kimberly, we have Elida. So I'm going to help Irma. Oh. Okay, perfect. So Irma, you will be Julia, and Elida, you will be Anusha. Go okay. ahead, please. Did, did this a picture from your wedding Anusha? Yes, we had the ceremony in India. And was this your wedding dress? Yes, it is a zari. Actually, in India, when women, women get married, they usually wear a brightly colored zari, not a white dress. It's beautiful. So what are weddings like in India? Well, in some tradition, after the groom arrives, the bride and groom exchange garlands on flowers. We did that, but we didn't do some other traditional things. Oh, like what? So, well, before the wedding, the bride's female relatives usually had a party to celebrate. But I am an only child, and I don't have any female cousins, so we uh, skip it out, uh, skip it that. That makes sense. You know, I have heard about this one tra tradition. When the ground takes off, he shoots. The bridge takes the steel. Then I guess you didn't do what they do that either. Oh, no. We did that part. My mom stole them. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good. Perfect. So Ay, the bride. Bueno <laughs> <laughs> the bride. And the groom, right? The bride. The bride is la novia and the groom is novio. Very good. Yeah. Two, please. Other two. Again, más. Other two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, Kimberly. Perfect. And who's going to help Kimberly? Can buy you that at Kimberly. We have Marvin and we have Tanya. Me teacher. Okay, so Marvin will be Julia and Kimberly will be Anusha. You can begin, please. Okay. Is this a picture from your wedding, Anusha? Yes, we had the ceremony in India. And was it your wedding dress? Yes, it's a sari. Actually, in India, when women get married, they usually wear a bright color sari, not a white dress. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. So what were what are wedding like in India? Well, in some traditions, after the groom arrives, the bride and groom ex exchange garlands of flowers. We did that, but we didn't do some other tradition things. Oh, like what? Well, before the wedding, 
the bride's family relates usually have a party to celebrate, but I'm uh, an only child and I don't have any film cousin, so we skip that. That makes sense. You know, I have heard about this one tradition when the groom takes off his shoes, the bride bright sister still them. I guess you didn't do that either. Oh no, we did that part. My mom assaulted them. Very good, perfect, very good pronunciation. Okay, some words that are difficult to pronounce, right? Wedding dress, vestido de novia, right? Wedding dress. It says, Julia says, and was this your wedding dress? Um, let's see another one. Uh, Anusha then says, when women, right? Woman, only one. Women, many, right? They usually uh, wear a brightly colored sari. Brightly, brillante, right? Brightly. Not a white dress. Después dice Anusha, um, uh, no, that's okay. And then female, right? Anusha then says, oh, like what? Well, before the wedding, the bride's female relatives, bride's female relative, usually have a party to celebrate. And we don't have any female cousins, so we skipped that, right? Nos saltamos eso, we skipped that. And either, right? At the end of the last participation of Julia, it says either. I guess you didn't do that either. Creo que no, tampoco hicieron eso, ¿verdad? Either es tampoco, también, ¿verdad? No hicieron eso. But uh, those will be some of the difficult words that we have in this conversation. Either wedding, female, wedding dress, brightly, right? But very good, very good intonation, very good pronunciation. Now, uh, we're going to finish this conversation um, with... No, this is the conversation that we just did. So tomorrow uh, we have a homework. Remember that we are going to um, talk about our favorite holiday and we are going to explain or we are going to bring information about our favorite holiday. And I want you to use relative clauses. Quiero que usen relative clauses. So we are going to review the last time relative clauses, right? This is just a very real clauses of time. So I will make it bigger. So it says here, a relative clause of time is formed with when, which refers to the noun phrase. Example, days, the month, the season, the time, that comes before it. September is the month when children go back to school. That is in the United States, right? Not here. December 24 is the day when many families eat together. So as you can see, when introduces the relative clause of time. Siempre when va a introducir este tipo de, de cláusulas, ¿verdad? De tiempo. When, cuando, ¿verdad? Then here we have the formula, date, or the holiday, right? Holy Week, July and August, February 27th, 1492. And then the verb to be, right, is in black, is, are, is, is. Then a short description, we can, we can add it if you want to. The week, the month, the day, the year, when, the word when. You can see there, the subject, Christians, people, Dominicans, Columbus, and verb. And then the complement, right? For example, the first one, Holy Week is the week when Christians reflect and recall Jesus' death, crucifixion, and resurrection. So when is the relative clause, right? When Christians reflect and recall Jesus. And the next one is July and August are the months when people go to the beach, right? So we have another relative clause of time there. 
February 27th is the day when Dominicans celebrate their independence. And 1492 is the year when Columbus discovered America. Remember that a clause is a group of words that includes a subject and a verb and function as a member of a complex sentence. Esto ya lo estudiamos antes, así que ya lo saben, ¿verdad? So that is a, an adverbial clause of time. An adverb clause of time shows when something happens. It is usually introduced by time adverbs. Examples are before, after, as, when, while, until. So no solo se pueden hacer con when, se pueden hacer con todas estas palabras, ¿verdad? As soon as, since, no sooner, pero no nos vamos a meter más adentro. We are not going to investigate more about that. Solo nosotros lo vamos a hacer con when, ¿verdad? When, 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 when. Uh, all of the adverb clauses are subordinate clauses. They cannot stand on their own and must be attached to an independent clause. Estas van a ser siempre las dependientes, ¿verdad? An adverb clause of time can come before or after the main clause. When it comes before the main clause, we usually separate it with a comma. Commas are not necessary when the other clause goes after the main clause. So, eso es a, acerca de la escritura de las comas, ¿verdad? Uh, but uh, this will be like a more examples, right, with adverbial clauses of time. When a, women get married, they usually wear a bright, brightly colored sari. So, when uh, women get married, right, or when women get married, sorry. After the groom arrives, that is another adverbial clause of time, right? After the groom arrives, the bride and groom exchange garlands of flowers. Before the wedding, the bride's female relative, relatives usually have a party to celebrate. So when, after, and before, they are adverbial clauses of time. And here are at the beginning. Aquí están al principio, por eso llevan una coma. Eso es lo que decía ahí, ¿verdad? Se les pone coma cuando van al principio, pero si van al final, la podemos poner al final también. Y ahí no llevan coma. We can place it at the end also, but we don't have to write any comma there. We can say instead of when women get married, they usually wear brightly colored sari. We can say they usually wear a brightly colored sari or women usually wear a brightly colored sari when they get married. So it depends how we write it. And we have examples here. For example, before a man and a woman get married, they usually, let's see if we have here. Si aquí estas no tienen eh, respuesta. Esta sí. Creo que solo vamos a hacer esta. Okay, entonces, um, before a man and a woman get married, esta es de adverbial clause, ¿verdad? Esta es la cláusula de adverbio porque nos está diciendo before, ¿verdad? Tiempo. Uh, what do you know about uh, these traditions? For example, when a woman and a man get married, what do they usually do? ¿Qué hace un hombre y una mujer cuando se casan? Normalmente, ¿qué hacen ellos? What do they usually do? They usually what? For example, here in El Salvador, right? Not, not in India. Before a man and a woman get married, antes de que un hombre y una mujer se casen, they usually, what do they do? Um, novios. <laughs> they usually are a couple, right? Very good. We can say that. Very good. Thank you, Marvin. They usually are a couple. Very good. Very good. When a couple gets engaged, cuando los novios se comprometen, the man often, what, what does he do? ¿Quién se lo pide a quién? ¿El hombre a la mujer o la mujer al hombre? En estos casos. Mm -hmm. 
we can say that one. Uh, when a couple gets engaged, the man often asks to get ask uh, ask uh, his girlfriend, let's say. to get married very good right after a couple gets engaged they usually wear rings right wear rings cuando ya están comprometidos usan anillos verdad when a woman gets married cuando una mujer se casa que hace ella she usually Usa un vestido blanco, usually, ¿verdad? It's really uncommon to see a, 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 a bride wearing another kind of color. No es muy usual que use un otro tipo de color. When guests go to a wedding, they almost always, cuando los invitados van a una boda, ¿qué hacen los invitados? Casi siempre. Mm. Llevan regalos o... Very good. They almost always bring presents. Very good. Perfect. And the last one. Right after couple gets married, justo después de que la pareja ya se casado, ¿qué hacen usualmente? Los novios, después de que se casan, ¿qué hacen? La luna de miel. ¿Se van a la luna de miel? Very good. They usually go to honeymoon. They usually go to the honeymoon. Honeymoon. Luna de miel. Perfect. You see? So, that is the way honeymoon is together. Sorry. So, that is the way that you are going to write, for example, the information for your homework, right? Aquí tenemos más palabras. Before, when right after, que significa justo después. So we can write this information about our favorite holiday. Uh, do you have any question, any doubt, alguna pregunta de la plataforma o de la que acabamos de ver ahora? Do you have any question? No questions about adverbial clauses of time or anything? I know that everybody's tired right now. It's 10 o'clock. So we're going to finish finally, right? Have a happy St. Valentine's Day if you're still going to celebrate. If you don't celebrate that, okay, no problem. And I will see you tomorrow at nine, okay? Have a nice evening. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Nice night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.